sorry, the possibility of control yeah. is possible till the last moment. Только вот это срезать не надо, да? То есть как бы. Да? At the last moment, if somebody is wrong with general thickness of two, three, four, four. You escape from one millimeter or half a millimeter okay. from the last of them between okay. extension frames. So okay. So when the frames are dry, and we've fixed, say, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, let's say that. Let's say that frames one and actually I think there are five frames between that are fixed. So say frames one and six are fixed. These are the fixed ones that are connected to the reinforced reinforcing keelson. Frames two, three, four will fit perfectly between those without glue. When you put glue in, that'll add about one millimeter of thickness. And what we'll do is take that one millimeter of thickness off of this frame before the reinforcing frame, either by putting it in the thicknesser or by using the, the circular saw and going like that. Uh, now, actually, that's done after the frame here has been thinned above the waterline. Is very liquid. Yeah. Number three. If the glue Maybe is it will be not necessary, necessary. Yeah. to cut yeah. off one millimeter. Ah. Uh, yeah. Experiment. Ah. Yeah. 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 So yeah. what Dr. Michael is saying is what we could do is take a sample of five frames separately from the corpus, the hull, glue them together, and see what thickness the glue adds and then account for that by sanding one of them to that thickness. In certain instances, the glue might be thin enough so that it doesn't actually add any width at all. And we could have it like that. And the experiment is not necessary to do with ready, expensive yes. frames. Different frames. It is possible to use the same thickness of planks. То есть сначала вот допустим взяли сухие, посмотрели сколько будет сложно, да? Посмотрели. Ага. Глюе. Когда он застыл, посмотрели сколько. Ага. Мо. Yeah. Less more. Да. Вот. So you can use uh, scrap wood to measure the thickness of the glue you're going to use on these frames by measuring before, putting the glue and measuring after. Very good. Uh, one thing I want to ask Dr. Mike, uh, is it possible please to show me how you transfer the lines to this drawing board from the plans? And also, um, how you then attach every fifth beam. Do you attach the beam according to these lines? or not. Is it possible to ask him that, please? Можешь ли ты объяснить, как вообще размещается стапель и, опять же, фиксация каждого пятого шпангоута производится в соответствии ли с толщиной чертежей, с толщиной палок? Нет, разметка производится вот для этого, опять. Да? This magic ruler, this will come back for the rest of my life. Как там, очень важно. It's very important. Very important detail. Always use. So this is a rule we constructed from the broadside view. If I remember correctly. Yeah. 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 Broadside view? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Broadside view. Для бокового вида тоже он используется? Для бокового вида. Да, да, конечно. Yes, Нет, это же разметка шпангоутов у нас же будет, а она одинаковая, чтобы чертежа. Frames. Да. The frames are the same thickness all да. over the three uh, plans. Can we do here? Okay, he's now showing us he's now showing us how to construct the actual building board. Мы это сделали здесь по 17, да, вот вот эта разметка была у нас. А на самом деле они 17 с половиной мы не уменьшали, поэтому не обессудьте, да? Вот. Marks on the paper in the middle. Here, here, here. 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 Very thin pencil is necessary here. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Then, what? Pass it on. And then, what? And then, what? We will put it in there. Yeah. 
тут я тут трудностей-то не вижу никаких, то есть как бы в этом плане. Звонил ли Митюш покупать на корабле? Now that he's got some marks on the drawing board, we're going to attach frame one. Okay, you rolling? All right, we've now got the hull completed to that stage there with the reinforcing beams on top, and we're going to be marking the level of the decks. And the way he does this is by using two keel clamps, and the hull sits in that. This can be unscrewed and adjusted accordingly. You can see it's just got a hole there uh, so that it actually sits perfectly straight and then tightened accordingly. Now I've only got one frame to work with here but you can imagine that's the full hull and these bits have been cut here with the reinforcing beams on top. What he then does is he places a ruler along the front edge of the, uh, the keel and uses a right angle to make sure it's sitting perfectly straight and the ship isn't sitting like that or like that. When it is sitting perfectly straight he then actually starts by measuring the distance with the measuring clippers from the top of the frame to you can see this dashed line here to the lower deck level and we're looking at frame 3 so he actually measures this distance for each particular frame. Remember we'll have about 80 or so frames on the model. When he's measured that distance, the hull is sitting perfectly vertical in this device. He then gets this device here. You might want to zoom out and get a picture of all of that. Which is used to mark the level of the deck. Now. This surface here is going to run along the top edge of the hull, like that. And this point that you can see will actually mark the wood at the required level for each and every frame. So what we're going to do is make sure that the distance from the bottom edge to the point corresponds. accordingly. That will then be placed on the top edge of that frame. He would grab a pencil, uh, which I can't find at this point in time. Here it is. So it's sitting on the top edge of the frame at the required height. And he's actually got a couple of screws here, sorry, on this side that can be tightened so that you actually lock the machine in at that height. Temporarily forgot that. That's now tied, it won't move. Puts it on the top of the frame. Up against the plank. And then with a pencil marks the level of the deck on that frame. He then turns it around and does exactly the same on the other side spasiba, of the frame there. I don't know if you can just see me marking it over there. I'll move the kill clamp. So he'll have two marks that correspond to the level of the lower deck. Then what he'll do is get the next frame image. That was three we worked with, frame four, and repeat the procedure. So he'll get the calipers measure the height from the top of the frame to the level of the deck for frame 4. Uh, it'll probably be very very similar to frame 3. If not, as you I guess move along the deck it may change a bit. Um, adjust the distance here accordingly. Go back to this machine here. Uh, loosen the knobs. Adjust this accordingly again so it Oops. Has the right height. I think I moved the caliper there. I didn't have it in place. And then mark the next frame, port and starboard. So what he does is he marks both sides of the frame, then moves to the next frame. 
and he'll basically have a series of lines like this one along the inside edge of the hull on both sides and that will be exactly where the deck will go. The crucial thing to realise is that when the hull is sitting in the keel clamps that it is perfectly straight and not left or right. What he also mentioned is that he does do a double check. Um, measures the height of the frame on this picture and then makes sure that the height is the same. Remember he's placed two He's placed actually reinforcing beams along the top edge of both sides of the hull and he runs that sanding paper over it. So he's just, before he's measuring the height of the deck, he's making sure that the height, including those little reinforcing beams that he put on, is exactly the same as what it should be. So you're getting rid of that extra one or two millimetres that we allowed before you're using this process. I think. Uh, Just a piece of. She keep his form even curving and turn yeah. back to uh, first. It turns back to its yeah. original state. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. We, by our measurements, yeah. That is, we took the measurements. Yeah. We put 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 the measurements. Yeah. Okay, so you can see that line there. Basically all he's doing is joining the dots using that thin piece of white plastic and he creates that line there. Not the piece of wood, but that pencil line you can see just above it. Plastic is not why? Because the metal or steel are not able to do it like this. Why do you need plastic? Because the metal ruler can change its form only in this position, not in this. It is necessary to change maybe a bit in this direction and that's why we use plastic. Mm. The deck has curving in both ah, play, yeah. plates. The deck will actually curve a bit like that or actually like that. So plastic is the only thing that will do the job. Later, the same piece of plastic will help us to make the planking of the hull. Ah, yes. Ah, yeah, yeah. That is, just tell him, the planking of the hull is something else I need him to teach me. Yes. This is a, yeah. in itself a big process. Okay, maybe we should go and talk on Skype now. Yes. And come back in. Okay, where my fingers are. We're talking about the horizontal planking that goes on top of this. This is a different model that wasn't built with the same construction technique uh, that we've been discussing, but nevertheless, uh, if you look closely where my fingers are, you can see there's a bit of movement. And the point of this is, you glue it on and it then prevents that, that movement completely. Mm -hmm. I made for three decks. <coughs> One, two, three. Including uh, the upper side of the uh, quarter deck. This ship was three decker. Three decker. So what we've done is we've marked each. And just we've marked each of the frames on both port and starboard with this device uh, and a pencil. So we've marked the deck line. Then what we've done is used these plastic rulers to join all the lines on the inside. This is a different model, and remember it doesn't have a deck, that's the point of this exercise. We've used this white ruler to join all the deck dots on the frame, and then we've drawn a line, and we've used the plastic because it can bend this way, because the deck does actually have to bend this way, metal can't do that. When we've joined all the lines, then what we've done is, if you come over here, is he's attached wooden deck clamps immediately below the lines and those deck clamps are reinforced with toothpicks or nails through them immediately below the line of the uh, of the level of the deck that we've marked with that clear instrument we establishing the deck clamps mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Причем, обратите внимание, что мы их установили так, чтобы их можно было снять. That we establish them temporarily. 
Ah, mm-hmm. they only attach temporary glue. Вот при заглюке. No glue. В чем преимущество такого набора? It is an advantage. Да, что мы можем совершенно спокойно деревянными нагелями крепить временно его, да? И это будет четко. They can fix it temporarily. Да. With the help of wooden nails. Toothpicks. Да. Но мы их не вклеиваем, да? Они But without просто... glue. После того, как мы их, да, вот да, так мы начинаем размечать прямо по ним, по месту, да, места для бимсов. We begin to mark the places for beams. Да. После мы сейчас нам достаточно только, да, разметить ширину, да, и глубину. Mark the depths of the beam channel. And the breadth of the beam channel. Да. The beams will hold the deck. The beams will be put it into these channels. You see these small Just zoom in on that. These little holes. And we're looking at image 85. Naturally, it will look like the yeah. yeah. stop of the yeah. camera on your camera, yeah? Very dark. Mm-hmm. And this is a deck clump. You get that? Clamp. Very good. How does he know where to cut these shapes? How does he know where to cut these shapes? Do you? 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 Да. То есть мы должны обязательно, значит, положение мачт в первую очередь, да? First of all, we must know the positions of masts. Да? Вот. Раз. Дальше мы рисуем э, позицию грот, лю, грот лю, люки. люки. Грот хэтч. Да. Хэтч, грот хэтч. Там фор люк, да, okay. допустим, у нас. Мачт, так сказать, да, вот это. Фор хэтч, грот хэтч. Это же мачтовые подушки здесь будут стоять. Мизен хэтч. Да. Because вот. hatches are put it on the beams. Да. То есть люки, ну то есть вот те, э, места технологических отверстий, да, грубо говоря, нам надо сказать, да? We must know the places of technological holes. Да? Вот. Потому Where что they are. на нашем плане бимсы не должны проходить через эти отверстия. The beams are not beams going всегда through the целый. Да? Вот. Вот они как должны идти, правильно? Они должны по кромкам сначала пройти. The да? beams must support the hatch. Okay. Да? Вот. А уже потом свободные места можно поделить на дополнительные. And then the free да. places we can divide into small beams, which are not carry да? the heavy вот. things. Да, вот. Да? Все. То есть у нас план палубы есть тогда, да? Вот этот для бимса. Yes, we have the plan of the deck. Вот. Потому что можно сейчас в деталях вот это не рисовать, да, ну я имею в виду, что можно не иметь его там супер детальный, главное положение бимсов относительно технологических отверстий. Вот. Да? First of all, we must know the place for establishing the main beams. And the main beams are these ones, with the hatches. who are carrying the hatches. Да, да. Вот, да, вот, да, вот они основные, да, наши все эти beams. Вот. Так? Вот. Значит, потом. Опять наша любимая линейка. Да? Then remember your линейка. Yeah, your ruler. ruler. Да? Your basic yes. да? Мы ее совмещаем, скажем, middle, M cow, допустим, я на вот. Ah. Да? Imagine мы ее совмещаем. Coincided из, with из, из плана палубы, из плана палубы переносим на линеечку карандашом положение бимсов. Да? And the position of beams we mark on this. Рулер. Ага. Да? Ага. Вот. Вот. Мы ее, допустим, вот, one, там, там, two, three. Все бимсы переносим, да? После all этого... of them. All beams are 
Transmitting on this ruler. Его, да, эту линейку. Вот, да. Опять совмещаем, да? Ну, Then go inside this ruler with the hatches. Да? Вот. И наносим на самом деле, да? Это можно сделать вот по, по наружной кромке, да? Вот. Ну, где, где удобно. Having на самом деле, right да? angle, we mark the internal part of То есть мы переносим разметку бинцев. Да? Вот. Understand? Understand? Yeah. То есть Uh, вот у нас пришитый, да, the deck clouds are fixed with the ah, fixed. wooden да. Мы его приложили к, ним, к нему, и на, не, на него, да, мы отметили наши бимсы. And then we are copying с другой стороны. From another board. Да. Вот. Проверили себя, да, что у нас, up to 90 что у нас right angle. перпендикулярно, да, вот. Perpendicular. Да? Вот, основной плоскости, убедились, да? We convinced ourselves that everything is 90 degree, да. после, симметрия. Да, после этого мы сняли, After then, да? we replaced, the, removed the, <coughs> removed, да? these uh, temporary fixed да. И, clumps, да. и сделали эти отверстия. And made nice holes for the beams. Да, да. Вот после того, как они у нас будут готовы, да? да? They, these holes are ready, мы их поставили опять на место. Again at their places. Это нам за счет лагерей нам это все позволяет. Да. Да. И еще раз просто проверили, убедились, что мы правильно все сделали, да? То есть. And again checked up. That everything да? is 90 degree. Проверили, вот. После этого их можно посадить вместе с клеем. Да, вот. Сейчас я покажу, где он там. Вот нижний уже пришит, видите? Вот. Вот. Он Да. Их не должно удивлять, так сказать, да, что здесь немножко другая конструкция, нижний парень. Потому that что it is not a beam, it is да. only вот the beam. strong support for the lower deck, because lower deck is not, да. is not visible. Да. Вот. На самом деле вот с приклейкой можно не спешить. То есть вот когда мы будем дальше делать, так сказать, да, тогда и приклеим. То есть на самом деле есть золотое правило, скажем, судомодельизме. Если сейчас это делать, это можно не делать, этого нельзя не делать в коем случае. There is a golden rule in ship modeling. If it is not necessary to glue it just now, do not do it. Do it only when it is necessary and when it is stops the construction. Yeah. То есть, да? Yeah. Потому yeah. что всегда могут возникнуть необходимые... Write да, this есть... rule on the paper. Вот. Вот. Only glue at the point that it is necessary. Do not glue before it is absolutely necessary. Do not glue before <laughs> the things, the members, the parts of the construction. Это первое правило. А есть второе? Golden rule of ship modeling. Every part of ship construction which can be made out of hull must be made out of hull. What do you mean made out of hull? Separately from the hull. Uh, upside, away from the hull. It, it is not necessary to deliver the hull directly to the machine, to the saw machine, uh, and uh, make the operations. Uh, 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 After the, you glued one detail to the hull before, it was mistake that you glued it. That's why do not glue if it is possible not to glue. And make all the additional things of the ship separately from the hull. Да. Вот мы, то есть мы как бы приклеили, сделали это, да? После... We did it. We да. glued it. Значит, вот после этого мы можем установить первую палубу. Afterwards we can establish the first deck. Okay. Да. Can I ask one question at this point, please? Um, the, uh, ooh, the plans. He said he marked the position of the hatches on the, the ruler. Yes. Which plan did he look at to get the position of the hatches? The plan of the deck. Can I find you it? have the plan of your no. deck. No, yes. I will just find this plan. Oh. 
Pull this model, sir. Mm -hmm. Oh, beam. What? Yep. Yep. What? Yeah. What? 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 Yeah. Just get me. Это так называемые полубимсы, да? Как мы это назовем? It is half a beam. Half a beam. Oh, ledges. Ledges. Lead gears. Ledges. Ledges. The beam you mean goes from there to here and stops there. Вот, то есть здесь на полубе вот отмечены положение мачт, да? На самом деле. The position of masts are marked here. Да? With the cross. Да? И их мачтовые подушки, да? And the mast pillows are marked to... Угу. Да? Да. The pillows calls in English steps. Так. Must да. step. И вот все технологические отверстия. With all technological calls. Да. Да. Просто это иначе будет неестественный вид паузы. Объясните, что, так сказать, если бимсы вот так вот начнут проходить... Да, If the beams will go through the hatch, who will penetrate through the hatch? Всегда старались сохранять максимальное количество бимсов целыми, правда? Вот. Yeah. The uh, more completely beams, the more strong construction. Mm -hmm. The more beams, the stronger the construction. Yes. Mm -hmm. То есть рациональность в этом присутствует, да? Что называется? Вот. Рациональность yeah. in this uh, idea. Yeah, вот здесь, если обратить зиму, здесь то же самое сделано. Вот по, по, по да? These nails are going through the beams. That's it is because of the beams are underneath. Вот люк, да? Вот по краю проходит, да? The beam at the edges of the edge. Вот мачта, да? Вот они обходят мачту, правильно? The beam cannot go through the mast. No, of course not. It will be interrupted by the mast. То есть, ведь все эти люки, да, мачтовые подушки, они должны на что-то опираться. И они опираются на бимс, да? Поэтому там должен проходить бимс. Вот. вот so all the additional construction of the deck are based on the beams. Да. Поэтому mm. этот план нужно сделать обязательно, да? То есть, чтобы это важно было. It is very important to prepare such a plan. Where the beams are situated. The beams will not be visible. They are only for support. Yes, they are not visible. But we can imagine that they are under the decks, and because of the nails. And he does one set of beams for each level of the deck. Usually, the beam of the upper deck just over. The beam above the beam of the lower deck. Ah, upper, lower, at the same vertical, at the same perpendicular. It is very easy to explain because the hatch is going not only through one deck, but through all the decks till the bottom. In the same position. Yes. In the same position. Okay. Good. The same with masting and with the pumps. So with this with this model. Dr. Michael, mm -hmm. uh, beam here, yes. here, yes. here. It is the middle of here. the beam here. Sorry. He, oh, no, 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 no. Here, 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 here. Yes. Mm -hmm. here. Put this. In the stairway. Yeah. Stairway, yeah. Uh -huh. Да. Нет. Нет. Потом свободное... Вот. Из дистанс, да? Делейт. Да? Now, put anywhere. One, two, three. Да, да. Окей. So, the beams are cutting across hatches. He's saying on the... Not, never through the middle of a hatch, because that's a hatch, so it has to be open. But on the edges of the hatches... There, that's why I've marked them there. So the beams basically go on the edges of all the hatches. Uh, another one there, and there, and so on. Now, when you've 
got them on the edges of all the hatches, you then divide up the remaining distances evenly. You might divide it into three sections and put another couple of beams there. The idea is that the nails on the deck go through beams. So you're basically laying as many beams as possible so that deck is supported as strongly as possible. Uh, every row of nails has a beam underneath. Uh, you put, put in your Alex, does every row of nails have a beam mm. underneath? Mm. So for example, mm. beam here, beam here to here, beam here to here. Yes, yes. The border of the beam <laughs> is not on the nail trace, but slightly Yeah, of course. Abroad. Of course. But does every row of nails have a beam? Yes. Okay. Every row of nails has a beam. Has a beam. Because the in real life this yes, is what the ship was. The beam. Of course. And his beam that I, I guess we haven't spoken about we've only done the holes for the beams. It is technological holes. His beam, for example, here, his beam comes to here. As a short beam calls uh, uh, calls ledges. Does it have a reinforcing it has the uh, alongside the uh, detail mm. heavy uh, heavy part of the frame of this hatch and it has a contact with this frame at the same manner like this ledges the short beam mm -hmm. contact the uh, alongside the, ship, the, hull, on the part of construction <coughs> of the hatch the frame of the hatch is a square you see four sides and he has a contact and fixation like beam fixation has fixation with the deck clamp so it's just a должно выглядеть вот так да beam beam да вот вот beam Yeah, 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 I understand, mm -hmm. okay, so he's saying the beams do go to the edge of a hatch there, so you've got those that go all the way across, and these that stop halfway, as per the nails on the deck, cut. Mm -hmm.